Hi, this week on EmergingEdTech.com, our feature post is sort of a continuation of the theme we started last week discussing free online photo image editing tools. And I'm looking at five more tools, uh, different from the ones I looked at last week. Had a few blog readers comment and mention some suggestions they had. And um, also did a little poking around on my own. And I've got five more tools I look at here in this post and wrap it up with a summary and some um, recommendations on a few of them that I think were particularly uh, useful and you might wish to check out too if this is an area of interest. Alright, the first tool we're going to look at is from Aviary and aviary.com uh, has quite a few different tools available focused on different types of media, video, audio, uh, images, and their image editing tool is called Phoenix and we're going to click out and take a look at it. So here we see the Aviary homepage and mention of each of these different types of products an image editor, music creator, screen capture, audio editor, and so on. I am going to go ahead and launch the image editor, which is called Phoenix. Here we have the full Phoenix screen, and if I click load existing file, I can browse out and pick up a file that I might want to work with. And here we see a picture after I've loaded it up and applied this metal glow filter that is available and I uh, experimented a little bit in this case I lowered the amount to two and applied and that's how I came up with this particular image you see here in the background and there's a lot of other functionality here so these different kinds of filters blur fine edges metal glow just if you experiment around with them there's a whole mess of different neat things that they can do and this idea of layering is another uh, pretty intriguing concept here you can uh, you've got options to adjust levels, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, typical kinds of sort of cleaning uh, options for images to help them look better. And there is more to uh, Aviary as well, and there's a nice set of tutorials available uh, that helps you have a sense of how to do a variety of things, and you can check these out, search through them. And uh, I really enjoyed Aviary and think it's got a lot of potential, uh, particularly as we've seen that it is also um, ha has these other tools and I'm really curious to learn more about it and may have to come back here again and uh, do a full featured post on Aviary. Alright, the next application we looked at in this week's blog post is named Photofunia and Photofunia is pretty cool and it's based upon facial recognition technology and it looks for a facial image in a photograph and then inserts it into any one of, uh, there's over a hundred pre-made image templates and I made this silly little photo here with it and uh, it's really, it's, it's pretty cool uh, kind of a unique type of functionality that the application has. So if you go ahead and select a image template on the front screen there it'll bring you to this screen where you then want to go ahead and uh, select a file and if it'll give you an option to browse out and select a photo of your own and in this case I'm going to go ahead and grab this photo that I selected before and if I hit sometimes when you do this with some of these templates it'll actually give you a um, kind of a layover uh, grid just a little outline and help you pick the section of the photo that you want to go into this photo uh, into this template and sometimes it won't it's just going to go ahead and do it for you so if I hit go here it's going to go ahead and generate this image um, with in this case uh, so there you, you go. You, it took this image that I had and pulled it in here like it's getting painted on like that. So this is such a fun little thing that you can do with this photo funny application. Um, putting your face or portions of a picture into this these cool templates like this. It's really rather unique and uh, I think you'll want to uh, check it out if you're interested in this type of application at all. And the next tool we have that we checked out is called Photo Flexor and Photoflexor claims to be the world's most advanced online editing tool uh, which is a pretty bold claim so let's go over and uh, have a little bit of a look at it so if I click on this upload photo button uh, the, the Photoflexor application will get started and it will bring me to this next screen here where then I would click on the actual upload button to select a photo and I'm going to go ahead and over here I'm opening up a photo to load up and it's going to load up out here. So once you've got your photo uploaded you've got these uh, eight tabs here of functionality. So basic functionality like red eye fix, this great auto fix feature, 
uh, a bunch of effects, these decorate options to add things to your uh, photo, some special animation functions, beautify functions, distort, layers, a uh, whole layer set of functionality, and uh, these little things they call geeking over here. Um, so I'm going to go over here to effects and uh, I uh, click on more actually uh, and use the effect I used yesterday I believe was color sketch to manipulate this particular photo right here and so I clicked on the button and um, wait a little bit while it does its thing there it is it's done and now I've modified that photo to create the image I have out on the blog so a bunch of pretty neat things this PhotoFlexor application does and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed I think they are one of the most uh, versatile tools I've come across yet. I did look at two other applications but found myself kind of hesitant with both of them. Uh, Photoscape was an app that uh, needed to be downloaded and installed and looking briefly at the functionality discussed on the website I didn't see anything that jumped out at me as really worth the effort of you know putting something else on my computer another layer of software uh, when I can do the things that it looks like I can do on Photoscape with other tools so frankly I kind of moved on I also looked at Picnic uh, which has some standard image correcting and enhancing functionality but for the effects and the neater stuff they would have a fee it's not a lot there's plans starting at about two dollars a month but again I can do some pretty neat stuff with these other tools uh, nothing jumped out at me from what I see in the functionality of Picnic that said I should pay for it when I can get a similar functionality at no cost alright so after having looked at ten different applications over the last two weeks uh, I think five of them were really pretty useful uh, and those are as you see here in the list aviary um, had a lot of functionality extended beyond just images also worked with um, audio and with video PhotoFlexor uh, claims to be the world's most advanced online editing tool and I don't know if it really is but I can certainly say that it had a nice wide range of functionality like all the kinds of things you'd want to be able to do with photos um, except for maybe something like what is offered by Picasso which is uh, also image correction and um, other types of editing but on top of that some good organizational tools tools to help you to communicate and share photos across the web uh, as well as a lot of hooks into ways to buy um, uh, products with your photos in them. Uh, Pixinate, also interesting because of some unique effects that I just didn't see elsewhere. And Photo Funny, uh, very unique in the sense that it gives, does, does this one thing of uh, allowing you to take faces and put them into a bunch of pre-existing templates for some really uh, fun results. So those five things I thought were great tools. Uh, I hope you find them of some use. And if you want to learn a little bit more, I did give this link to this Squidoo page, which includes a nice tag cloud that I think uh, is updated from time to time and shows a whole bunch of these different applications. And a great place to go learn some more if you wish to. And that wraps up this two-week look at a number of different free photo and image editing tools that are available out there on the Internet. I hope you found the information useful, and I hope you'll subscribe to the website and to the blog, and take care. Have a great week.